What is going on guys? We're back with another video in the Packers Primetime 2.0 franchise and we are going against the Seahawks in the NFC Championship game. And of course, if you somehow have lived under a rock for the last like 5 to 10 years in the in the NFL, well, really 5 years ish, you probably don't know that uh, this is probably one of the biggest matchups in the playoffs at least on the NFC side for I don't know, like I said, last 5 years. The Seahawks and Packers always combine for insane games, whether it is the playoffs or not. But of course, NFC Championship games, been wild. Um, the Packers' biggest choke. I mean, the Falcons clearly outdone us, but probably the biggest choke the Packers have ever had, I think. I mean, you could compare like a, oh, a seven-point, you know, deficit, or not a deficit, but, a, you know, last-second touchdown but this may be one of the, I would say, top five choke in history. We clearly did. Um, so many things had to go wrong, and they all did. And, of course, obviously, Bostic takes the biggest brunt of it, which he kind of deserves because it is the biggest play. Holy crap. <laughs> but, obviously, look at this team. Insane. Uh, we will more than likely be letting Spriggs go. Uh, you know, quick dev, 25 years old, great player, but 83 strength. You know, you don't have unlimited money. Obviously, we're intending to replace Rodgers. Will we? Don't know. I don't know. You know, it's not like he's not a good player. It's just, it's going to be 35, 36. Don't even know if he's going to be in the league still, to be honest, because one of our players is retiring. Uh, what is he going to drop to? 91 throw power, 86 deep. You know, I at that point, Rodgers isn't Rodgers anymore. I know it's Madden, and real life is a little different, but... In Madden, I don't know if he's Rodgers anymore. McKinnon, greatest cornerback I've ever had. Clear as day. Um, Mike Daniels going to go, of course. And then, uh, yeah, the, the D-line's going to look a little rough. Vic Beasley looking to trade him. But more importantly, everyone's intact. No injuries that I can remember. Meaning we are on to a, a pretty clean look here. Seahawks have Jimmy Graham, Mager, their left guard, their right tackle. I mean... This should be an onslaught from our pass rush position. Their two best linemen are gone. We're a 98 overall now. We're getting better and better each time. Actually, did I go? I think I went with the Patriots playbook last time because I didn't want to lose. And yeah, we're going Patriots playbook. At home against the Seahawks. This is going to be rough because I just have a feeling it's going to be snowy. Don't know why. I just do. Championship Sunday. All it takes is one win when you get a bye week, which obviously we have... Uh, we have enjoyed this year. On the other side, Raiders, Chargers. If it's the Chargers, could be rough. If it's the Raiders, I think whoever wins this game has a Super Bowl win. And it may be cold, it may be windy, but there is no snow. So, uh, hoping for the best here. Seahawks still, I'm pretty sure their defense mainly intact. But we have quite possibly the greatest team ever assembled. So, you know, maybe, maybe that'll help us, I think. They may have injuries, but they also have Russell Wilson, who gets it done with less. But this team is going to look a little different next year, so we're not going to be as dominant. We're going to be good. And see, this is why Vic Beasley is going to leave the team next year. I know we just uh, obtained him, but these are the reasons. He chases them down and does nothing with it. I mean, we're definitely built for this win. There goes Russell, and he gets stopped uh, by Kenny Clark for the sack. Fourth and ten. You know, play action to start her out. And they have us a little bit. Armour and left foot. No, maybe it's not. Out. I thought left foot would definitely be out there. Wagner makes a decent play, and auto juke is on. Obviously, that will be removed, but it worked there. Holy crap. Good job, Suggs. What a throw. Porcher, a talented man he is, gets those feet down. Makes the biggest play of the game so far. Porcher saves us a bit. And Rodgers in for the touchdown. Championship belt, don't see that often. We just lost, you know, some of our pass rushers throughout the season. And obviously we haven't really been touched by the injury bug since. Saying that now we're about to lose a player. Who is it going to be? No one yet. A little find by Russell. He's a dangerous man. First throw. 
And that's good coverage by Gary. Or Jerry. And wow, what a kick. I think that was a 60. Not 63. 61. We're taking it. We're taking it. And like I said, it is Earl Thomas, though. I'm actually just give Suggs the ball straight up. And damn it, they made the stop. Got to set this edge because they might be running away from us. Oh. Please, Lolito. And Lolito drops it. Get off the damn line. And that could have been picked, too. Maybe we'll get more shots than I thought. Come on, third and ten. Base pressure. Get there. It's almost there. Oh, good catch. First down. And I miss. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Lolito was just hammered. And that's picked off by Vic Beasley. Slow down. Get that block. Go. Good blocks. And we stumble. Vic Beasley makes a huge play. And ironically, it's not in pass rush. The pressure got to Russell. And he forced one. They better watch themselves. They better watch themselves. Put that on there. Damn, good catch. Rogers with the dot. I mean, even I mean, they put a lot of trust in Sherman there. Slugs up the middle, catches some lanes. And he does run through Cam Chancellor. Cam's getting a little old. Suggs is the new man on the block. A little play action. Back of the end zone. And Adam's left foot. I mean, it's a touchdown, but that left foot, it was questionable. Come with the Lolito blitz. Lolito gets picked up perfectly. And I miss by an inch. Trust in the coverage. Uh-oh, maybe I don't. There we go, good blitz. McKinney. We do seem like we are too much when we do bring the house. Over the middle. Come on, somebody make some coverage happen. Oh, thank God, because he kind of had him open. Run. Little dump off to Suggs, who gets about 10 there. Aaron Jones seeing the field for the first time in a while. Taking the shot. And good swat. Screen. No. Good tackle, McKinnon. And there goes Russell. Damn it. He's going to actually take a hit here and fumble. And I think that's recovered by us. Maybe hit him with some halfback wheelie. Look like they may be pressing. Can't chance that I don't think has that speed. Oh, that is debatable. But I'm thinking he got away. Oh, he got away with one. Look at this. Oh, look at this. No call. Can throw it quickly. And Ty gets away. And Ty gets away. Down to the eight. Damn, I can't get, like, I know it's a five-man rush, but I literally just cannot get anyone free. Ooh, that's a bad decision. Oh, no. Good job, Corey Lindsley, and obviously the wide receivers. Threw it right to Earl. I had Devontae open, but Earl accelerated to that ball like nobody's business. And I'm going to get blocked big time. Huge spin inside, down to the four. And that's just porous. They got me off at a bad st uh, spot. <laughs> got me off. And that's a great throw in between the coverage. I believe Ty Montgomery on the block. Nah, we're not going Ty Montgomery on the block. We're going to throw to him. Ty Montgomery, not even going to take a hit. Not bothered. Now we're going to give Ty a shot at the ball. Come on, Suggs, you're a big man. Give me a block. There you go. And Ty, I mean, he takes, takes another spin. Doesn't really go anywhere with it, but he's beaten two, two great safeties so far on the spin move. Not comfortable running the ball yet, but we're getting a little bit of success. I'll take it. And the cutback's real. Damn. Just not elusive enough. Suggs, obviously not that type of back. Devontae with an amazing catch. Gives us a tough decision here. Like you're betting against the Seattle defense. I think we're taking the penalty. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Doesn't matter. Ties fast. Into the end zone. Damn, I got him offside, but I wasn't quick enough. Almost just completely blew that. And there's a fumble. That's game. 
That, that may be game. Porter wants a touchdown. I don't care what Porter wants. I want the game winner, which comes from whoever. Ooh, that should have been picked. I don't know how the hell it wasn't on these sliders. I don't know how. Do I really not have anything? Screw will just still run it. We'll be a little, little conservative. Little, maybe a little too conservative, but it does give us a three possession. Ooh, Russell takes off and a good decision. Getting a little wild with that football. Too gutsy to run here. No pressure from us. Russell escapes, and Lolito just watches it. Oh, no. Oh, no. And he gets a touchdown. Is that Armour? I don't know why I thought it was Armour. It's Cooper. They don't see it coming. Aaron Jones, one man to beat. Could have been a fumble. Good play, though. I know it's Cam. I wouldn't. I don't know why I even expected it, but... Perfect kick as per usual. 13-point lead. I mean, it doesn't necessarily do much, but it's insurance for the future, potentially. Tabor, get over there. And Russell. Oh, man. Oh, huge hit in the back by Clowney. Am I supposed to be in coverage here? Russell's rolling out. And what a throw. Clutch as they come. Huge play. On, like, third and long, gets the first. We could just bring goddamn Russell down. There's the pressure. He does fumble. Trips over his own player. That's the that's the playoffs. We are going to the Super Bowl. And Stewart, the preseason hero himself, comes out of nowhere with a recovery here. Winning the game. Kenny on Siegler. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Beat off the press, and that's a pick. Give me that. Give me that. We, of course, win the game. Consistency kills. And the big thing that killed is the Seahawks turning the ball over way too much in that game. Unbelievable. Amount. Like, we really didn't even do that much on offense. Like, we really didn't do much compared to, like, them. But their offense, turnovers. Way too many turnovers. I know some of them were forced, but a lot of them Russell Wilson could have avoided. I know he was trying to overcompensate because they really don't have the team outside of him other than maybe a little bit on defense. But, yeah, too many turnovers from the Seahawks, and that's the reason why we win. Five takeaways. Should have been something that would have ha should have happened in the real championship game. I think it was exactly five takeaways as well. And, yeah, we couldn't win. So, showing them how to do it in real life. Russell Wilson, two picks. Threw way more than that in real life. So, I mean, I know he did fumble, but still. We win the game. We move on to the soup or bowl. Defensively, well, I know a lot of it was throwaways, but tons of pressure on the defense. Pick for v Vic Beasley and McKinney. That Vic Beasley pick was huge early. McManus three for three. And yeah, that was the championship game against the Seattle Seahawks. We will go with a little simulation Pro Bowls here. Going against the Chargers. They're nine and seven only. Did we have any like Pro Bowl XP or did that would that have already come? I think that would have already come one of us. Where's Spellman? Maybe he Nope, I guess not. Take a look at those Chargers. So, Phil Rivers still an 84 overall. Ryan Beard, 84 overall, but he gets it done in Sim. Melvin Gordon, insane player. Holy crap. Like 99 everything. At least the stats that matter. Uh, what about receivers? Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, Hunter Henry. It's safe to say we're playing against a much better receiving threat. Offensive line. A lot better. Big one as well as that pass rush. A lot better. Well, not a lot better, but better than Seattle. Although their secondary is not as great as Seattle. So both teams bring their, uh, you know, better, you know, their own twist to the game. But I will say, honestly, looking at paper, the Chargers may be harder. Because at least with Russell, 
you didn't have many blocks, didn't really have that many re open receivers, and most importantly, risked the ball a lot when running. So you won't see that from Phillip. We'll see. Next video is the playoffs. At least we're in it, you know? We're in it to hopefully win it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.